Jake Paul went from being one of the worst students at Westlake High School in Ohio to becoming one of YouTube's top celebrity vloggers. Think that you know everything there is to know about this blonde cutie? Well, think again, because we're about to share some tidbits that you definitely did not know about this prankster. Just make sure to keep watching until the end to see what really went down between him and the beautiful Alyssa Violet. Before we start, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. Now, here are 20 things you didn't know about Jake Paul. The Beginning Jake Joseph Paul was born on January 17, 1997 in Cleveland, Ohio to parents Greg Paul and Pam Stepnick. He may only be 20 years old, but this popular YouTuber makes more money than most people by vlogging about his crazy life. As you may have already known, Jake first got his start on the six-second sharing app Vine, where he quickly became famous for his quick wit and silly antics. Do you think that little Jake could have ever imagined his life becoming what it is today? His YouTube channel grows at a rate of about 30,000 new subscribers a day, and we don't think that he plans on slowing down anytime soon. High School Dropout If you've ever thought that Jake chose a social media career because he wasn't really a good student in high school, then you'd be right. It is rumored that Jake only had a 1.9 GPA average in high school, which we all know puts him way below the national GPA average of 3.0. He even decided to drop out of school after his junior year so that he could move to LA with his big brother Logan. Don't worry though, Jake still continued his high school education online and even graduated in 2015. He may not be book smart, but he definitely knows how to get himself noticed on YouTube. Back off haters. Now that Jake has a huge fan following, he also has to deal with haters. But it seems that he's been hated on for making videos since high school. He confessed that even when he moved to LA, no one from his school said goodbye. A former teacher even asked him what he was going to do when his social media fame died down. The hate got so bad at one point that his mom started calling the parents of his bullies to try to get them to discipline their kids for being mean to Jake. He may not have been popular back in Westlake, but Jake definitely didn't let the haters stop him from reaching for his goals. If you love binge watching videos as much as we do, check out our new platform that we created just for you. Watch thousands of videos from your favorite channels including The Trendy, The Things, The Taco, and The Richest in one place with ad-free browsing. Sign up now to the premium to get early access to these videos for free. See you soon! Family Drama In a Draw My Life video that Jake released earlier this year, he revealed that when he was just a little boy, his parents' marriage started to crumble. Greg and Pam began to fight all the time and ultimately decided that a divorce was better for the family than them staying unhappy together. This was obviously a hard time for Jake and Logan as their family was falling apart. But Jake admits that the experience taught them both a lot about life. He also realized that the plus side of the divorce is that they now get to have two Christmases instead of one. Wrestling to make up for the fact that he was a terrible student academic-wise, back in high school, Jake was actually pretty good at wrestling. He went to a wrestling camp one summer in Ohio, and he even put Vine aside while he was there so that he could focus on training and competing. His wrestling partner in high school was Josh Pappas, who was a way better wrestler than he was. Jake wanted to be just as good at wrestling as Josh, so he pushed himself to work harder at the sport, and he was eventually rewarded with the most improved award at the end of the season. It seems like this YouTuber can do anything that he puts his mind to. Zoosh when Jake was younger, he created a YouTube channel with his older brother Logan called Zoosh. The brothers had just started watching videos on YouTube at the time, and they were very much inspired by the comedy channel Smosh. It was the biggest channel on YouTube back then, and the boys ended up choosing the name Zoosh because it was so close to the name Smosh. Jake was also inspired by YouTuber Ryan Higa, who had tons of people watching his simple comedic fart jokes and punchlines. Zoosh doesn't exist in its original state anymore, but you can still find some uploads online of a much younger Jake pranking strangers, gaming with Logan, and just being a general goofball. Vine So we all know that Jake started out as a Viner and that his brother Logan claims to have helped Jake become famous on the app. But did you know that it was actually Jake who showed the six second video sharing app to Logan? The boys used the app as a competition to see who could post the best and funniest video on it. Within only five months, Jake ended up with one million fans on his Vine profile. He became so popular on the app that he was even nominated at the Shorty Awards for Best Vinographer in 2014 and Best Vine Comedian in 2015. 
All thanks to Dad. The camera that Jake originally used to make his funny Zoosh channel videos, it was actually a little handheld Sony video camera that his dad had given to him and Logan for Christmas. It was 2007, Jake was only 10 years old, and his dad, Greg, had given them a camera so they could record their football games and get serious about becoming better athletes. Jake used to replay the footage so that he could study what he was doing wrong and right, technique-wise, every game. But he and Logan also started to mess around with the camera and began to create fun videos with it. So their success as social media content creators is ultimately all thanks to dad. Entrepreneur Jake's dad, Greg, was also the one who pushed Jake to become an entrepreneur when he was younger. He told Jake that it was better to learn how to start your own business than to just get a minimum wage job like everyone else. So Jake and Logan spent the summer, between the 9th and 10th grade, working for their own landscaping business. This business paid Jake $10 an hour, but it more importantly taught him how to communicate and negotiate with adults, how to stick to a schedule, and how to keep producing a high quality of work. Seems like Greg unknowingly taught Jake everything that he would need to know to transition into the the world of YouTube celebrities. Navy SEAL? Did you know that Jake was a little jealous of his big brother Logan when the two were growing up? At one point, Logan seemed to have it all and was studying to become an engineer and Jake was jealous that life seemed so easy for him. Jake's uncertainness about his future pushed him to become obsessed with becoming a Navy SEAL. He was still vining at this point, but didn't yet see the potential in a social media future. So Jake's dad played drill sergeant and would rigorously train Jake with workouts that the Navy SEALs actually did. Jake has even said in a live chat with fans last year that he would still one day like to become a SEAL. Until then, we guess he'll just have to settle for being YouTube famous. Cars Jake may only be 20 years old, but he's already driving cars in his videos that are worth more than we'll probably ever make in our lifetime. But did you know that his first car was a lifted black Jeep Wrangler? This car may be cooler than most 20-year-olds drive, but it is pretty reasonably priced at around $35,000. But Jake's dream car is worth much, much more. With a $2.8 million price tag, the Pagani Zonda would be a huge splurge for this YouTuber with a net worth of an estimated $5.5 million. A little hard work never stops Jake before though, and we're sure that he'll reach his car goal eventually. Disney Channel Jake always sets new goals for himself and then works endlessly to reach them. One of his goals to transition into a serious acting role was reached last year when he was cast as the character Dirk on the Disney Channel show Bizardvar. And in all honesty, Jake didn't even really have to try hard to get this one as he essentially is Dirk in real life. Dirk is a video blogging star who runs the channel Dare Me Pro. The Disney Channel senior VP of casting has even said that by virtue of his popularity in social media, he brings a freshness and true authenticity to the show. Airplane Mode Prepare yourselves to see Jake wear multiple hats in his upcoming movie Airplane Mode, which is set to air sometime this year. Jake, along with his brother Logan, is the executive producer, writer, and star of this movie. He really can do it all. Airplane Mode centers around a group of social media stars who refuse to put their devices on airplane mode while flying, and Jake describes it as an expendables with social media stars. In addition to starring the Paul brothers, you can also expect to see Amanda Cerny, Jerome Yar, and Ariel Vanderberg in this movie. Talk about a star-studded cast. For sale, not by owner. We all know that Jake is a huge prankster, but did you know that he has put homes up for sale without the consent of the owners? On his channel, you can find tons of videos of him putting up a sale sign on the homes of huge celebrities such as the Dolan Twins, Justin Bieber, Donald Trump, and the Kardashians. Jake even managed to get past Canadian rapper Drake's high security to put up a for sale sign on his property. And why does Jake do this? We think it's probably because he's a self-proclaimed adrenaline junkie and he likes to see how far he can push the envelope before getting caught. He was even chased by Justin Bieber's security for his pranking ways, but managed to escape without a single scratch. Mom Spills the Beans Have you ever wondered why Jake's eyebrows look a little wonky? Why they sometimes seem patchy, as though they're missing parts of them? Well, Jake's mom, Pamela, lets us in on a little secret about Jake's eyebrows in a list of five facts about him in his published memoir, You Gotta Want It. Pamela tells us that Jake randomly decided to shave off half of his eyebrows one day in the fourth or fifth grade. No one knows exactly why, but he probably thought that it would look cool if they were shaved from the middle of his eyebrows until the tail end of them. Jake apparently doesn't like to talk about the incident, and he even pretends that it never happened. The Dr. Dre of social media Jake's high school classmates may have thought that his social media career was going to go nowhere, but he sure did prove them wrong. He recently raised $1 million to launch Team Dom, which is a new kind of creative talent management agency. It's basically a social media incubator that reps Team 10. 
his team of young budding YouTubers that live with him in LA and that are taught by Jake how to take their personal brand to the next level of stardom. Jake's motivation behind this big idea was that he was inspired by what Dr. Dre did for the music industry and he hopes to become the Dr. Dre of the social media world. Did we mention already that he's only 20 years old? Harsh move. Remember Alyssa Violet, the beautiful YouTuber who was part of the first Team 10 group that Jake put together? We all know that Jake and Alyssa had a little fling during their time together in the Team 10 house. But did you know that he rudely kicked her out after their relationship went sour? In one of Alyssa's videos, you can see that Jake threw all her stuff into the living room and put a lock on her bedroom door. He wanted her to leave immediately, which forced her to have to hire a company to put her stuff into storage. Jake's side of the story is that he's been asking her to move out of his place for the longest time and she never did, so he he finally decided to kick her out. We still think that Jake's way to do it was a bit harsh though. In trouble with the secret services. Like we mentioned before, Jake is a huge adrenaline junkie, which must have been the motivation behind his stunt to sleep overnight at the White House. In his vlog about the infamous sleepover, Jake was invited to the White House for a media event. I guess they never expected that this notorious prankster would actually breach security and hide in a toilet cubicle after the event was over. He escaped from the White House in the early morning without running into anyone, but the Secret Service did track him down eventually and actually arrested him for committing a federal offense. Or Jake thought he was getting arrested for it, but the whole thing was actually a prank set up by his brother, Logan. Jerrica. If you've been following Jake's channel recently, you've probably noticed an abundance of video titles with the word wife in them. That's because Jake recently got married in Vegas to fellow Team 10 member Erica Castell. While the two were at VidCon, are they actually married? We don't think so, but that doesn't seem to stop Jake from milking the whole situation. He is apparently making his fans go crazy over the fact that he refers to Erica as his wife, and the pair are even going to start selling Jerrica merch soon. Erica is a brand new YouTuber, so this might just be a way to get people to subscribe to her channel. But it seems that Jake just can't keep himself away from any girl who joins Team 10. Alyssa Violet so, what really happened between Jake and former team tenor Alyssa Violet? The two have been fighting over social media for the past year now, and it seems that someone is lying about what really went down. According to Jake, Alyssa cheated on him with one of his close friends, and his broken heart was the decision behind kicking her out of Team 10. But according to Alyssa, Jalissa was never real, and Jake would constantly have girls over at the house while still insisting to Alyssa that he loved only her. This seems like a real situation, but we hope that these two are able to work it out in the end. Being cheated on is never fun, and it looks like they're both still hurting over whatever really happened between them. That's all for our list of 20 things you didn't know about Jake Paul. Let us know in the comments below which fact about Jake was your favorite. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye